We start out peacefully enough. A young lady is sunning herself beside a pool. By the way, she's blind, and I don't think those guys are on their way to make sure she's wearing sunscreen. Lieutenant Wells, is that you? Haven't you got better things to do than to play peeping Tom? Who's playing? He takes his peeping very seriously, thank you. Who, who are you? Where's Lieutenant Gloria, Wells? I'm sorry. They've got a gun on me. He forgot his glasses, so he has to get up really close to peep. You fuzz always making a big production out of it. Just doing our job, Mr. Kappas, keeping you safe. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's Kelso King, the guy who couldn't regulate his body temperature in Honey West. He also had small parts in the Time Tunnel and in Mr. Terrific, which I covered in a series I call the Dumbbell Derby. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because I have no idea where to put the accent on David. He was another of those steady character actors who made good television possible. The character's name is Kappas, and he just found out that his blind daughter and her police bodyguard are both missing. I said to tell you that if you go before the government committee and talk, then you'll never see me again, Daddy. They said you'll know what to do. Oh, Daddy, I love you. What government committee, Mr. Griggs? The Organized Crime Committee. Richard X. Slattery is an old friend of the zoo. We've seen him in Wonder Woman, Mr. Terrific, The Green Hornet, F Troop. He was all over the place. Numerous series had him back multiple times playing various characters, the way we saw a lot of guys do in the original Superman. He was that good and in constant demand throughout his career. He frequently played a cop, as he's doing here. Naroda Kappas is scheduled to testify before former friendly organization men. Open it all up. Names, dates, records. Was scheduled to testify day after tomorrow. His former business associates don't want him to do that, hence the threat to his daughter. And it's working. Well, a five-year investigation is going down the tubes. We're stopped cold. Kappas says if the police snoop around, he's out. Be like signing his daughter's death warrant. Seems you're in trouble if you do and in trouble if you don't. That's why I'm here. Our only hope is a circumspect undercover operation that won't tip off the kidnappers. I'm talking about your clay resource. That kind of goes without saying. He just described exactly what it does. Kate is in the lab with the tape. She thought she heard something, and she's been running it through some processors. I figured that the person or persons responsible were right next to Lori when the recording was being made. Here. <laughs> How's this? I took this from between her words with a blanking circuit. That's the sound of fear. It also sounds as though someone is struggling for breath. Better get Kappas and see if he can identify it. That's Hallman the... Who? Manny Hallman. Works for Jimmy James in Miami. James left the rackets a few years ago to turn legit some kind of a um, interstate trucking company. I'm not sure how legit he is if he's kidnapping children to keep their fathers from talking. Maybe it has a different meaning in the gangster standard dictionary. Our Washington office can check up on him. Your office will do nothing. You did enough already. What do you mean? That bodyguard you gave my daughter, that Lieutenant Wells, he had to be in on it. Where is he, huh? I assume he was the guy who claimed someone had a gun on him. Kappas isn't about to give Griggs a chance to blow it again. Mr. Kappas, I think we can best handle this situation within the corporation. Better than me? Look, those guys are my kind. I've been dealing with them for years. And the only thing they understand is a gun at the throat. Now you stay out of this. Walter said, okay, Griggs went home, and that was the end of the episode. We never did find out what happened to Lori. You know, Walter, if he's going to interfere... Well, he's still under protective security. I... 
I'll get back to you with the data on Haldeman and James. Good idea. That egg on your face is starting to drip. We'll have a chance to use that new portable computer terminal. We're receiving the building layouts. Right. It's in the works. The prelims will be ready by the time you set up in the motel, and hopefully some photos of Hallman and James. At various times, it would be called a workstation, a remote terminal, and lots of things we don't repeat on a family-oriented channel. In 1976, this was cutting-edge stuff, and you really don't want to know what such things cost. They have one because the Clay Corporation has deep pockets. Graves is right, you know. And what about? This is a dangerous assignment. Oh, I didn't hear him say that. He looked it. Dan, if the girl is at the James place, this could get heavy. Just find out if she's there, get back to me, and I'll lay it under Greg's. Get in, find her, get out. I'm sorry, Daniel's a scientist. He doesn't understand one-syllable words. Government agent Lieutenant J.R. Wells. Manny Holman. Oh, he's a handsome fella. James, James. No wonder he became a gangster. What kind of parents do that to their kid? Daniel is getting ready to go in undercover as a businessman looking to invest in the company. Speaking of investment... You, uh, you did tip the bellboy, didn't you? He looked very sour. Of course, I gave him a quarter. Did you get a receipt? No, should I have? Never mind. Kate's cheap tipping is a running gag throughout the series. I don't think she realizes she needs to tip more because she's investing in not having her bags dropped, stepped on, and otherwise handled by bellboys who just can't understand it. They've never been that clumsy before. Mr. Weston, you've been misinformed. There's no shortage of capital here. Well, perhaps our information was incorrect. You, uh, you have my card find yourself thinking about additional funding. No harm done, Mr. James. Sorry to have used up your time. He's the doorman. You forgot to tip him, or else you gave him a cake tip. He says he's a businessman. Says his company wants to buy in here. Cover him, Manny. I'm going to check him out. I hope you're for real, mister. We haven't had a truck backfire in the yard all morning. Is that a regular occurrence around here? You check out with my lawyers. The executive officer of your company contacted them. Said their rep would be around to see me. Well, it's reassuring to know my executive officer's on the ball. Uh, now, do you mind? That makes me nervous. There's one more thing they need to check. It's at the door. This is Daniel Weston, Transcom Vanning. You recognize him? But Daniel recognizes him. That's Lieutenant Wells, Laurie's bodyguard and faithful protector. Well, he's still guarding Laurie, but not for the same employers. Which makes it a cinch that she's in there somewhere. Fortunately, they were able to patch into Florida state records and they have blueprints for the whole place. Daniel is loving this. I get the feeling he's a bit of a gearhead like me. But can we pinpoint exactly where she is? Well, not in warehouse B, not in the north or west buildings. She's got to be in building A. That's the same building as the executive offices. That whole area is heavily guarded. Well, let's take a look at upper level East Wing, Building A. You're watching some of the earliest glimpses of what was to come. Today, you're able to watch this because of first steps like that. In less than 30 years, the whole thing would explode into the age of instant information. And silly YouTube videos. The ever-popular air exchange vent. Where would guys like him and Sam Fisher be without them? And that guard missed the warning light because he was helping his buddy with a crossword puzzle. Not that it would have done him much good if he had seen it. They would have wound up deciding the system had a short or something. And some higher up might have had some crosswords for him. 
so it's just as well for everybody. It doesn't appear to be wired, so he can take a chance and open it. The door isn't wired, but there's an infrared motion detector above it, and it just detected infrared motion. Too bad the camera isn't also infrared. Weirdest thing. I know that infrared system is working. I had it serviced last Wednesday. And it worked. Too bad he doesn't know it. Daniel starts checking doors. They're all locked, but here comes his way in. That way won't lead him to the girl, though. Our man puts the food tray into a dumbwaiter and pushes the up button. And before anyone asks, no, Daniel can't fit into the dumbwaiter. He'll have to find another way up to where she is. There's a staircase, but trying one of the doors out of it triggers an alarm. Well, since it's going anyway, he may as well head on up to the top and slip inside. Who's going to know with the alarm already blaring? Once they give up and go back to their posts, he can let go. But while he's up there, one of them mentions that it's his turn to pick up the girl's food. That's a useful thing for an invisible man to know. You've had alarms go off all over the place. Not from here. I'll take a look at the girl. Give it here. Open the door. Inside, her leg is cuffed to a chair. Manny tells her it was necessary after what she pulled last time. My father will never Your let you father keep... will do just as he's told. Or he'll never see you again. You understand? Look, I brought you lunch. But the next time you dump a tray on the guard, you don't get no more. The price of food is way out of sight, so eat. Manny. They never understand why people don't just accept their bullying and domineering ways and pushing them around. It's almost as if they don't like it or something. Now nah, I gotta be something else. Jimmy is on the intercom. He doesn't like all this weird stuff going on, so they'll be moving her in 45 minutes. Daniel's plans just changed. Okay, mister. We've seen your close the door and stay in the room trick. He forgot she can hear him. He's checking for bugs and not finding any. It should be safe to talk. Lord, my name's Daniel Weston. I'm a friend of your father's. I've got to find a way for both of us to get out. And within the next 44 minutes. That right there is easy. Break the leg off the chair. Not only is she loose, you now have a nice club to introduce yourself to Wells with. Who has the key? I... I think the man outside the door, the one that has the keys that jingle. Wells. Wells? L Lieutenant Wells? Yeah, but don't let him know you know. He says the first thing we need to do is get Wells to come in here. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Daniel, it's quite possible even if your father doesn't testify, they'll kill you anyway. So if you don't let me help you get out... He told her the room might be bugged. He was right. Wells and some goons come charging into the room. What about it? Well, what about it? 
Go on, Lieutenant Wells. Speak up. I know you're in on this, too. So much for that. What did you hear in here? Wells? A man's voice. And you had your monitor on all the time? It was on low volume. I turned it up, and I heard the voice. You heard a voice, or you were hearing voices? Big difference. Wiring's going bad all over this place. Guess where Daniel didn't look. As soon as Manny shoes the guards out and he and Wells go back to whatever it is they do all day, he'll remedy that. I should have guessed they would have put it in here. All right, I've taken care of it. You, uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I mean, they, they went through the whole room. I'm very good at hiding, Laurie. We don't know her story, so we don't know if she was born blind or if something happened. But if she was born blind, the idea of being invisible would be something she's unable to comprehend. Everything's invisible to her. But Daniel is classified, so he can't tell her anyway, so it really doesn't matter. He's begging her to let him help her get out. If she's free, her father can testify against these men and send them to prison for a very long time. Can I... Can I see you? I'm here. Right here. Mr. Weston? Dan? You have a wonderful face. I trust you. The actress's name is Jamie Smith Jackson. When she entered the acting field, she hit the ground running as the title character in the teen drug saga, Go Ask Alice. If you've been watching her here, you can see the amazing talent she has. True story, the first time I watched this a few weeks ago, I looked her up to see if she really was blind. I believe her. What can I do to help you? In less than 30 minutes, they'll be in here to take you away. I've got to get that thing off your foot and get you out of here. But first, tell me everything you can about the routine in here. Don't do that! Editors who do stuff like that make me want to kick them in the butt with a shoe the size of a goat. It's unnecessary. It's trying to be clever and failing. There's no good reason why we want to watch a typical jet land at a typical airport and then cut back to the story. That little stunt was a fairly common thing in TV around this time. I haven't watched ordinary TV, whether broadcast or cable or whatever, since about 2001, so I don't know how much they do it today. I hope not at all, because frankly, it's irritating. Kappa slipped his guards this morning. Griggs thought he could pick him up, but he's gone. We're going where? But he doesn't know that we found his daughter at the James place, so he's probably headed there now anyway. It's his only clue. You know he's headed for Miami and James. Post men at the airport to pick him up when he lands. Believe it or not, that's what the plane landing was all about. Some editor put it before we find out who's on it. Little things like that are the details that help kill a show. Kate says, what can I do? Walter says, nothing, stay put. In other words, I just called to let you know so you can sit there and worry. Thanks, Walter, really. While he's making her blood pressure skyrocket, Daniel is going to freak Wells out a bit. I don't understand. How, how will he miss you? I... It's visual sleight of hand, Laurie. He's going to be looking at you when he comes in. He needs some tools, so while Wells is trying to figure out how Lori did that, he'll slip out and go find some. And he doesn't have time to be polite. Armed with a set of bolt cutters and a screwdriver, he returns to Lori's cell. You're right, Wells. Game time is over. Now it's nap period. A quick snip on the handcuff holding her ankle and Lori is free. We 
Where's your husband, Dr. Weston? Well, he's not here. He's committing suicide and taking my kid along. He knows this how? I have a disabled daughter. I understand doing whatever it takes to make sure she's safe and has a decent life. I fought schools, social workers, lawyers, hospitals, and a society that doesn't want to be reminded people like her exist for over 20 years. I have a philosophy about that, and if you are in a similar situation, I'd love to share it with you and see you adopt it as your own for the sake of your own child. That philosophy is three simple words. I don't lose. So don't try to cross me, because where my child is concerned, I will use every legal means at my disposal to take you apart and leave you standing there in your shredded skivvies, wondering what the hell just happened. My kid is worth it, and so is yours. So if you're in that fight and you're feeling a little despair, throw that out the window. Get mad. Stay calm and legal, but trust me, they'll know. And you will win. Oh no, he'll get her out. You don't know what he can do. No. You're gonna help me get Lori out. Let's go. Get mad. But for heaven's sake, educate yourself and learn everything you need to before you enter the battle. That's what he's not doing. He knows Daniel is in sight, and he has to know that if he goes blundering in there with a hostage, it's going to put Daniel and Lori at risk but he's not thinking clearly. This is why the authorities tell people like parents to stay out of it and let them handle it. It's why when some high official's kid is taken, they make the officials stay out of it. You're too close to the situation to think sensibly. He has no idea what Daniel is doing or how this stunt will jeopardize his life, and he doesn't care. He said early on that the only thing these guys understand is a gun. He's off to impart some understanding to Jimmy James. Hey, what are you doing? That was number two. Only 74 more to go. When he knocked out Wells, he quipped that he only had to knock out about 75 more guys and they'd be home free. I'm not sure she appreciates the joke right now. Many of us were wondering what the screwdriver was for. Unfortunately, before Daniel can finish the job and they can reach freedom, her dad screws the whole thing up. Get Laurie, Jimmy. Okay, Capus, okay. Now! Get Laurie here. Sure, sure. First trick takes you out, Jimmy. No tricks. Guard on D and East Wing. Guard on East Wing is unable to answer at this time. Please leave a message after the headache. Kappas is losing patience. Jimmy only knows one thing to do. Daniel manages to lock them in the boiler room where the guards can't get the door open, but it's only a temporary reprieve. Meanwhile, Walter found out that Kate is missing and he's on his way with a whole slew of cops. All roads lead to the James Trucking Company. I thought you went legit, Jimmy. Old habits never die, huh? I wasn't the only one, Kappas. You got the whole organization after you. Yeah. I figured you wouldn't have the guts to try this on your own. Hey, Jimmy, that girl's... Get rid of it. Move! Now, what was this about the girl? She got out of a room. Somehow, I, I don't know. She knocked out a guard. She almost uh, tore up a, a, an air vent panel and trying to get out. Where is she now? In the uh, boiler room. We got her surrounded. Right, Capus, you did it all yourself. Capus! He should have listened to Kate. Now he may have condemned himself, his daughter, and the Westons. Because he has to know Daniel is the one who helped Lori get as far as she did. Lori Capus! Lori Capus! Your father's here, Lori! We got a gun on him! Oh, Daddy? Give up, Lori! And whoever's with 
with you. Give up. We've got Tapas and the woman here. Come out and give up if you want to see them alive. Daniel says, I have a plan, but you're going to have to trust me like you've never had to trust anyone before. She's not sure she can do this. Weston, Dan Weston, I've got Kate Weston here. Give up, Weston. Translation, Kappas gave him up. I'm in favor of saving the girl, but they should let Jimmy have her dad. I don't care what he's doing for the authorities. He is a bad person. But he's her father and she adores him, so we probably shouldn't do that. Daniel says, let them take you to him. Now where's Weston? Where's he hiding, Laurie? Or do you want to hear this gun go off? It's pointed right at your father. Tell him, Laurie. Who are you? I'm Dan's wife. He'd want you to tell Laurie. Except that she can't tell what she doesn't know. She says, he told me to give myself up and then he went away. I don't know where. Manny reports that he wasn't in the boiler room. James puts out a call to all his guards to find this guy. Speaking of rushing to find someone, we'll get almost a full minute of cop cars screaming down the street while the dispatcher gives them details. Arrest James James and Manny Holman for kidnapping of Lori Kappas. Code 2, out. Code 2? They are not going Code 2. Code 2 means run silent, no sirens or lights, we need to sneak up on them. Code 3 means go in with everything blazing. I'm not sure who needs further education, the dispatcher or the cops, but... What we've got here is failure to communicate. Seal off building A. They got him. Let him in. I'm going behind him. If I'm either of those guys, I want an explanation for that, and I want it now. But guys who would think something like that through tend to be smarter than to get involved with organized crime, so all the bad guys will just write it off. All right, Manny. Take Kappas out. Stop him. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, I know where Dan is. How do you know? He's here. He's here in this room. He is, he is hiding in this room. Right behind you, James. Manny can't explain it, but only someone who's as dim-witted as he is would expect him to. Manny! There's nobody behind you, Jimmy. It's a, a trick. Uh, a voice trick. It was nice of Manny to let us know he can't say ventriloquist. Ooh. All right now, Mr. Holman, let's keep things in hand. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. How's that for some voice tricks, Manny? Walter, Griggs, and the cops arrive just in time to sweep up. By all rights, Kappas should be in that bunch. He did kidnap Kate at gunpoint, but I think for Lori's sake, she's going to let that go. Daniel just appeared, for real, not invisible, as if it makes any difference to Lori. I don't know why we're not here today, but I'd like to thank him and tell him that I'll testify in Washington tomorrow morning as scheduled. Considering that your impulsiveness, your foolish dependence on your old gangster ways, and your failure to listen to crucial information nearly got the whole bunch of you killed, I'd say that's the least you can do for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your, your face has changed. Well, I'm afraid I've aged in the last few hours, Laurie. I understand. I think. Anyway, it's a wonderful face. It better be. You don't know what these things cost. He could probably tell her the truth and she'd keep his secret. I like this girl, both the actress and the character. If Lori can have more influence on her dad and get it through his head that you don't solve everything with a gun, maybe he can live to see her grow up. Who knows? She could even teach him to be a useful member of society. With that face, he can make a good living as a used car salesman. And as soon as Cable comes along, he can get rich doing infomercials. I mean, if you can't trust a face like that, whom can you trust?
By the way, she's blind, and I... blind. He also had small parts in the time tunnel and Mr. Turret time tunnel and... Hey, it's Kelso... Ah, come on. My voice is just about had it. She thought she heard something and she's been running it through some... <laughs> through some fat fat. And lots of other things we don't repeat on a fan... Let him help get her out. She... It, get, let, get, 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 get.